Hi. In this uh, video, I'm going to explain to you how you can find the area of a sector as well as the area of a triangle and the area of the segment in that sector. And also, we're going to be looking at the length of arc. Okay. Now, the formula that we normally use is arc length is equal to uh, r theta. Whereas for area of sector, we use half r square theta. <coughs> so applying this formula, we should be able to find the arc length. Let us suppose I want the arc length of AB. So that's going to be equal to half, uh, sorry, r theta, which is then 12 multiplied by 0 0.625 should be able to get 7.5 centimeters. Now this is how we go about and find arc length. And then we want to find the area of the sector OEB. Of course we're going to be using this second formula here, half r square theta. So we got half times r to the square which is 12 square times theta 0 0.625. If you do this in a calculator, you should be able to get 45 centimeters square. Right, not very difficult at all. All right, except that when sometimes the question becomes very challenging from the Cambridge examiners. With that, we're going to look at those questions at any given time. The other thing I want to talk about is the segment, okay? I'm trying to look for... Here. Now let us suppose I wanted to find the shaded area. This is the segment. Okay. The first thing I do is I find the area of the sector, which is this. I have no problem with that. The shaded segment area of the shaded segment is going to be equal to area of the sector, area of sector, okay, minus area of triangle OAB. Now, I'm sure you remember, if you have a triangle like this, and you want to find its area, and let's say this is A and B, and you've got theta, and this is the, let's say the triangle A, B, C for some reason. Alright, so area of triangle A, B, C should then be equal to half A, B sine theta. That's the formula we use. So we're going to use this formula to find the area of this triangle here. Okay, so area of triangle O, A, B should be equal to half times A, which is 12 times B, which is 12 times the sine of 0 0.625. So let's do that in the calculator. So that's going to become 42.127. So 42.127003, etc. Well, now we got the answer. So how? Here we go. So you just take uh, area of uh, segment, it's going to be equal to area of the sector, which we found is 45, and then you take away 42 decimal 127, etc. So let's do that. And you get 2.87299 and so on, so that may be 2.87 centimeters squared. Here we go. This was very easy as an example to be able to understand this chapter on circle using radians. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to wipe this, all this clean. I'm going, to, I'm going to come up with some more examples. And I want you to find theta. Find theta in radians. How are we going to do this? Well, what we should remember the arc length has been given and therefore arc length is basically r theta. 
So we've got then R which is 6 times theta and that's what we're looking for and then we get the arc length 7.6. The theta is going to be equal to 7.6 divided by 6. And so we've got 7 decimal 6 divided by 6 and that should give us 1.27 radians. That's approximately. And now suppose I tell you to convert theta into degrees. Let's say, and then I say uh, in radians and also in degrees. All right, so to find that in degrees, not very difficult. You will remember I gave you the pi radian is always equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, one radian is equal to 180 divided by pi. And hence we've got 1.27, which is then 180 divided by pi times 1.27. So 180 divided by pi times 1.27, and we should be able to get 72.765, 6 and so on. Let's say 72. 8 degrees to 3 significant figures. Alright, I'm sure you got that one. Quite easy. Okay, what if I give you some... I'm going to wipe this clean and I'm sure you can uh, just put some light here. Right. And, uh, well, I'm still wiping this clean. Maybe I can use some further space here. Uh, no, I'm just going to take a new example. Okay, suppose now I give you, um, say for instance, that this is theta, and I tell you that um, given that the area of sector OAB is equal to, let's say for instance, 51.7 centimeters square, and I tell you to find theta, of course in radians. Now you remember that area of the sector, and the formula of that is uh, half r square theta. Therefore, the area which is 51.7 is equal to half times r square, 60 square times theta. Hence, theta is going to be equal to the 2, can go here, or you can say um, times 51.7 times 2 divided by 6 squared. So here we go, we can find theta now. And 51.7 times 2 divided by 36 it should take us to. 2.8722 and goes on forever. So I'm going to say theta is equal to 2.87 radians. So here is the answer to that part of the question. Okay.